sound. Aspen. anymore. Look at this gun. Do you think it deserves this? This is lame. I'm out of here. I'm going to shoot this. Today we are looking at one of the most exciting guns on the market. This is the Seneca Aspen. You may have seen it imported under the name Nova Freedom. Now Air Venturi's got it under Seneca Aspen. This is a multi-pump PCP. That means that you can have a PCP without needing to buy a compressor, an air tank, a hand pump. For 400 bucks, you get the gun, you get the scope, and you're ready to go. That's all you need. You still can fill it up with a you know, with a compressor, or a, a hand pump, or a, an air tank. You can see in here, you just pull out this plug, insert your fill probe, hook up your tank, and off you go. Now, notice that the fill probe has a foster uh, fitting milled into the bottom of it. So you don't need uh, you know, to buy an adapter. This is so convenient. There's no reason, manufacturers, why you shouldn't be doing this on all of your fill probes. It makes it so much more convenient in my mind. Now the way you'll probably typically fill this up is by pumping it. And all you have to do is pump it like that. This fills up to 3600 PSI, which is really high. But even when you're getting up to 3,600 PSI, it's not hard to pump. It's really astonishing. You know, a hand pump at that point is getting really, really hard to pump. I don't know what kind of magic they've got going on here, but it, uh, you know. And, and mostly you won't be filling up to that high just to get the right shot curve, but it's, it's really an incredibly smooth system. So let's go over the features here. It's 43 and a third inches long. You can see it's got a fully shrouded barrel here. It's a pretty powerful PCP, so even with the fully shrouded barrel, it's, it's, it's fairly loud. It's probably, you know, borderline backyard friendly and backyard unfriendly. Uh, you've got kind of a plastic, it, it is a plastic stock here. For the amount of features and performance you're getting with this gun, you can't expect, uh, you know, a thousand dollars stock. It sounds a little hollow, but, but it's, it feels sturdy and it, uh, and it works just fine. You've got uh, a side lever cocking action, which on a $400 PCP is unheard of. I think this is the most affordable side lever action available right now. Makes it really smooth, easy to cock. You've got your safety right here, kind of the form of a pellet, kind of a funny, quirky little detail. Your gauge on the side. Now, uh, this handle may look a little funny to you. I mean, it, it doesn't look bad, it's a handle, but you'll appreciate it if you shoot off hand. You can see that it just sets right into place. You know, you don't have to, you know, you're not doing this kind of a thing. Makes it really nice, basically a hamster here for you. Uh, the trigger is adjustable. It's really crisp and, and clean. Uh, it says it's adjustable for weight. I fiddled around with it a little bit, didn't, wasn't able to loosen it, uh, lower the weight at all. But uh, your mileage may vary there. One of the most exciting things about this, too, is you've got two power levels. So you can adjust the transfer port by just moving this dial here. So this, in 22, 
you know, your 14, 15 grain pellet's going to be doing about 700 feet per second. You dial that up and you'll be doing about 900 feet per second. In 177, you'll be doing a th about 1,000 feet per second. Dial it down to 800 feet per second. Of course, depending on the pellet you're shooting. You've got sling studs already mounted for and aft here. You know, textured grip, it's still, you know, maybe a little slippery, but, but uh, you know, not too bad at all. All in all, you get a heck of a lot of gun here. Now, that's enough talking. Let's take it to the range. We'll see how accurate it is. We'll see how powerful it is. We'll see what kind of chronograph numbers we get. And we'll do some sound testing. I'm going to test the 177 Aspen on high power and low power. Get a full shot stream here on high power. We're going to do the JSB heavies. They're a 10.34 grain pellet. And on low power, we're going to do the JSB 8.4s. Now, uh, with any PCP that you can adjust the hammer spring and it's not regulated, you can move you know, that shot curve up and down with, with the fill pressure. You know, you can have a uh, shoot from a higher fill pressure, have a heavier hammer spring to get a lot of uh, power out of your shots. You can tune it down. With the Aspen, these questions become more pressing because you're pumping it yourself. So, you know, earlier I had this down to where it was, you know, shooting at a thousand feet, a uh, thousand PSI, and I only had to do about 10 pumps to get it up to where I could shoot it really well. Uh, but so you can fiddle with it. I'm just saying that this isn't quite factory settings, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close back where it was. And uh, so let's go ahead and do it. I've got it filled right now to just over 3,000 PSI and uh, on high power. So let's try this out. To talk about these numbers in a meaningful way, I've edited the shot string. I've taken the 20 shots from the middle. Then we can see what it does on, on what a normal shot string would look, look like. You'll see the whole shot string starting at 800, ending at 172. Uh, but I'm just going to go over the, the middle 20 numbers here. So we have a high of 938 feet per second, a low of 850 feet per second. That gives us a spread of 88 feet per second average muzzle velocity of 904 feet per second and that produces on average 18.7 foot-pounds of energy. And uh, that last shot went out at 172 feet per second. Once this thing runs out of air, it's just completely out of air. Let's go ahead and pump it back up, and we'll do it on uh, high power or on low power now. Now I've got the gun on low power. Hammer spring settings the same. I'm shooting the JSB 8.4s. It's filled to just a hair over 3,000 psi. It's a little bit less of a fill from absolute zero, which is where we were at uh, when we finished the high power testing. It took me 60 pumps to get up to 3,000 PSI, so that's really good. And again, you don't have to go all the way up to start out at 3,000 PSI. I think most people will want to pump this, you know, every 5 or 10 shots. You know, if you pump it 30, 30 times every 10 shots, you'll get a really nice, a nice uh, level flat uh, shot string, and it won't be too much pumping for you. So let's go ahead and see how it does.
So that's 10, and you can see how much power this gun has even on low power. And that's 10, and at 684, the next one's going to come out really slow. So that's that. In 22 caliber, the highest sound reading we got was 91.3, and that was on high power. On low power, the high was 90.8. In 177, on high, we got 90.4. On low, we got 90.1 decibels. We're here at our 35 yard range. I've got the Seneca Aspen in 177. I'm going to shoot it both on high power and on low power. We've got on low power right now shooting the JSB 10.34 grain heavies. And uh, you know, it's putting them in the, in the low 800s, so we'll see how she does. Okay, that's 10 shots, and I don't, I don't think you can ask for much better accuracy than that, especially out of a $400 PCP. Uh, so we'll take a look at those in a little bit. Now we're going to shoot the JSB uh, Monsters, the 13.43 uh, grain pellets, on high power. Okay, that's 10. So we've got the Aspen in 22 caliber here. We're going to shoot it on high power with the H&N Sniper Magnums and see how it does. We'll do 10 at 35 yards here. And that's 10.
and that's 10. Before we talk about the accuracy testing, let me, let me mention the scope here. The scope is what really makes the Seneca Aspen different from the Nova Freedom. Uh, the Seneca Aspen comes with a bundled uh, adjustable objective, fixed four power scope, which is a great scope for hunting, which I really think is what this gun is, is designed for. And, uh, and it, the gun doesn't come with the open sights. The open sights on, on the Nova Freedom are a little coarser than I would like even for, even for hunting purposes. So I think this is a, is a great option. I took it off uh, because to show you the pinpoint accuracy that these guns are capable of, I wanted a little higher magnification. So let's take a look here. So in 22 caliber, these are the sniper magnums, 10 shots here. Nine of them went, I mean, you can see nine of them covered by a dime, dime on a stick. Uh, nine out of 10 went in just under half an inch. This one was because it, it had just dropped off of the fill pressure. I had, I had the gun running pretty hot. If you tune it down a little bit more, then, then you'll get a lot you know, flatter string and easily get, get 10 or more shots. Again here, these are the, uh, these is JSB 16 grains. Again, these, these up here, that's a third of an inch. Again, you can see how easy that, that dime covers it up. And then the bottom, and then the last two, you know, dropped it down here. But otherwise, that is, a, that is a really tiny third of an inch group. So, really nice. In 177, here we have the JSB Monsters. And this that you're seeing here is because I didn't have it right on the middle of the shot string. It was, it was climbing up. Uh, incredible accuracy. I've had, I've shot groups with this gun that are, you know, that big. You know, 10 shot groups into, into the size of a pellet, basically. Really astonishing accuracy. So again, just find that fill pressure, get it to where you're on that top part of the curve, and, and you'll be dead on. And of course, with the gun the way it is, you can keep it incredibly flat by just pumping it up every few shots. You know, take three shots, pump it up 10 times, and you'll keep a nice flat curve there. So, so this one is, uh, you know, 0 0.15 inches wide. So about an eighth of an inch wide and uh, still under half an inch tall, 0 0.42 inches tall. And with the JSB heavies, again, 0 0.14 inches tall and uh, about a third of an inch wide there. So again, incredible, incredible accuracy. Now, when we talk about uh, accuracy on this gun, it is important to know, I think that I did these tests wrong because I was showing really the shot string and accuracy testing. I probably should have pumped it up to keep it at a, at a level fill because that's what most people will be doing. And at that point, you can just really dial it in and get incredible accuracy out of this gun. Let's take a look at the trigger. Out of the box, the, tr the trigger is really crisp, breaks cleanly and predictably, and is a perfect hunting trigger. And it, as you can see from the, from the results, it's, it's fine for target shooting too. But especially for hunting, it's, it's just right here. I did play around with the with the weight adjustment on the trigger and didn't really see much of a difference. So take that for what it's worth. But let's see what it's breaking at right now. Two pounds, eight ounces. Two pounds, 9.8 ounces. and two pounds, eight ounces. So really consistent. We get an average of two pounds, 8.6 ounces. So really just about perfect for a hunting trigger. Now I, I want to talk a little bit about tuning this gun because it is extremely tunable. We've already seen that you have the transfer port adjustment here. Now this adjusts the amount of power that goes in to the barrel behind the pellet here. So it's already left the valve and uh, adjusting this affects the, the shot count, but not a ton. But it also has um, another power adjuster here. You can put an Allen wrench in here 
and by turning it clockwise, you increase the power. By turning it counterclockwise, you decrease the power. Go easy, you know, one or two turns and test it out here. Uh, this makes it very, very tunable. Now, with the, uh, with the way that you just pump this up to whatever pressure you want, you can now tune the hammer spring down and pump it up to just 2,000 psi and get a pretty good number of shots at a kind of medium velocity there. You can turn this up so that when you pump it up to 3,000 psi, you get higher velocity. Uh, you can get a lot of flexibility out of here. You can tune it down to be really quiet. You can get long shot strings. You, you can do a lot of things with, with these two different power gestures and then the fill pressure here. And uh, there's too many possibilities for me to show you here. The video would be too long and my uh, producer here would, would shoot me. So just take my word for it that this is incredibly adjustable. So to sum up, the Seneca Aspen is one of the best values in PCPs on the market. For around $400, you are getting a, a PCP that you don't need to tether to a tank, to a compressor, uh, to a hand pump, that's saving you hundreds and maybe even a thousand dollars or more. It's accurate, it's not just PCP accurate, but it's an extremely accurate PCP. You get two magazines, you get a single shot tray, you get a fill probe that has the foster fitting milled into it. The amount of uh, innovation and technology that's gone into this is pretty astonishing and that it comes to you at this price is, is really unbelievable. That's what makes this gun so exciting. This is a great gun for plinking in the backyard. This is a great gun for taking all day around in the field. And uh, it's a good gun to have in the closet for when you need it. If you've enjoyed this review, then like, subscribe, make sure and ring that bell, and tell us in the comments below what you think about the Seneca Aspen. Thanks for watching. Travis, are you done with the Aspen? No. This, uh, this is an under pressure review. This is my show. I've got, I'm doing my show. We all know you're at the end of your show. No. I need it for my show. No. Yes. No. Uh -uh. no. Thank you. Ta ta. Can you believe that? Who, do, who does she think she is? Come in and take over my show. What do you think? Not you too, dead Travis.